Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about var, let and const. So you are supposed to use var, let and const uh, according to the requirement. So uh, let's start with the basic difference that uh, uh, what is the scope of a var and a let. So um, in this in this function you can see that I have defined a variable a here and then within this if statement I have defined an other variable with a let and then I'm going to console value of a here and then I'm going to console check the value of a in the console log at the statement so let's run this function let's run this uh, program and then see yeah so you can say a in block is 20 and a in function is 10 so a in block is 20 that means this a is different and this a is different so these are not same a's so what happened that the scope of this let is within this block and scope of this var is within this function so this is the basic difference that uh, variables which are defined with var keyword are actually uh, available within a function so their scope is at function level whereas with let uh, the scope is defined only at block level okay so you can check it like this if I change it to say var again and I save it then here you will be able to see that a in block is 20 a in function is also 20 so this a has overridden so this a is same uh, inside block as well as outside block the, that means this a uh, the the variable a is actually available throughout this function cool so this is the first difference that uh, let is a block level has a block level scope and where has a function level scope let's now talk about the multi variable uh, declaration using let so let's comment this out and uh, yeah and then let's enable this one and in this function what we are going to do is uh, care we do this let a is equal to 20 comma b is equal to 30 okay let's save it and let's see the output here a 20 b 30 okay yes so you can also uh, use uh, this comma separator to actually define multiple variables using let so this was very trivial thing so let's uh, quickly move forward and now let's talk about accessing let variable before declaration okay now this is very very tricky okay let's have a look at this function in this function what we are going to do is we are trying to access variable a before its definition and we are going to access variable b before its definition the only thing is that we uh, a is defined with var and b is defined with let okay let's save and run this function let's see what happens Ooh, a is undefined whereas for b we get a reference error so why this happened so this happened because variables are available throughout the function throughout the function irrespective of their definition um, so they uh, whether they are defined at the first line or they are defined at the last line they will be available throughout the function right so that's why a is available but its value is undefined because it was never defined here even if I do it like this a is equal to 10 even then its value will stay as undefined why because it was initialized at this statement but no doubt a is available in this function whereas if you define a variable with b uh, sorry if you define a variable with let then it will not be available before its declaration so this 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 variable can only be accessed where it has been defined so that's why in this statement it has given us a reference error so you can't do it like this but if i move the statement to this place and then i save it and you will be able to say that a is undefined and b is also undefined cool okay let's move to the next part okay next part we are going to see that how let behaves in a for loop so um, let's comment this section now and let's enable the next example so in next example 
uh, you can see that we have a for loop where a variable has been initialized with var and um, then b similarly we have another for loop with the b variable and the b has been defined with let and uh, after this for loop is finished we try to we will try to find out what is the value of a and after this for loop finished we will try to find out what's the value of b so loop will so it's a 10 times loop so let's save it and let's see what is the output okay so let in for loop a is 10 whereas b has given us a reference error so again this is the same concern that if you define a variable if you define a variable using let its scope is still block level so if you define a variable using let within a for loop then its scope stays within that for loop only so it will not be accessible outside that for loop so that's why it has given us a uh, reference error at the statement that b, b is not accessible whereas variable as we said earlier that uh, a var a variable defined with var uh, is available throughout a function so so that's why this this variable a is available even when the for loop was finished so this is quite trivial but uh, this could be new for you that if you define a variable using let in a for loop then it will not be accessible outside that for loop cool now next even better example and even uh, better thing to learn is that within a for loop if we define a variable using let uh, then it is declared every time with every iteration so a new variable is declared every time with each iteration okay let's enable this one and let's see how can we prove it so what I am trying to say is that uh, this is uh, this is a variable uh, let a so you can see that this let a its scope is this right so scope is this uh, in this for loop what we are trying is for 10 times we are pushing a function we are pushing a function into an array functions array and then we are trying to find out that what value was pushed okay what we can do is we can use multiple statements here to actually make it more clear maybe seven okay let me save it seven yeah so this function returned me 10 and this function also returned me 10 hmm whereas we were actually pushing we we, we were thinking that we were pushing a 1 2 3 4 5 something like this in every function but uh, that's not the case maybe it's little confusing for you so let's do one thing uh, let's put let here okay now we know that if we put let here then it is a block level scope and it should not be accessible outside this right it should not be accessible outside this but this function is working inside a closure this function is working inside a closure so that means it will have it will retain the value of a uh, and then we can access it at this point okay let's save it and let's see what is going to happen so yeah so we are getting five and seven what does this mean this means that every time a new a was created every time a new variable was created for every iteration and that's why and that's why all these functions have a separate uh, reference to a separate variable if you change it to where if you change it to where then you will feel the difference I'm changing it to where and saving it you will feel you will see that it's again 10 and 10 why because this variable has been defined only once it has been defined only once so whatever you are pushing doesn't matter because the value of a gets changed every time with every loop so that's why every function is referencing to the same value so this is very very important that within a for loop let is declared multiple times with every iteration it is it is declared once again okay let's move to the next one this is very very simple I will not spend much time over here so this is about cost cost 
so you can use this to actually define uh, the value or to define something which is constant for example how many suns are there in a solar system only one right so you can mention a uh, quantity of sun is equal to one but can you change it yes you can change it but would you like to change it no you would not like to change it you would not like someone to change the value the number of suns in the solar system it should always be one so if i if i so for that you have this provision that you can use const you can use const const a is equal to 10 and um, similarly uh, i have defined an array uh, which is also of the type const but let's see uh, what happens if we try to change these values okay i'm going to press save and then we will see what is displayed on the right hand side cool so i so for this statement console log a we got a10 but then we got invalid assignment to const a that means you cannot change the value of const so this is not possible okay let's comment out the statement and let's press control s again and see what happens okay now we we got the result of this statement as well a10 a10 but then again the same problem with b yeah same problem with b because b was also a const b is also a const and we try to change its value now if i comment it if i comment it what will happen now this is going to be tricky now see i'm going to save it and on the right hand side in console panel you will see that this statement did not give me any error this statement is fine this means for composite objects if the composite objects are defined with the const keyword then you can still you can modify the value but you cannot change it uh, you cannot reassign the value so you cannot reassign the value in this statement we were actually trying to change its value we were trying to assign a new value to uh, uh, variable b so that was not possible and we got an error but in this case we tried to modify the value and we inserted a new value at fourth position four and then we got the result b is equal to one two three four so this is how const works now one more thing very trivial um what all can we delete what all can we delete so we have we have uh, declared variables using var let and const so what is going to happen so in this in this in this function what i am doing is uh, i have defined a variable a b c a with var b with let c with const and d with nothing then I try to delete every variable a b c d and then I try to access every variable okay so I'm going to press s and let's see what happens so, so we, we usually try to delete a b c d but when we when we uh, run this console log on a b and c we were able to get a b and c so that means a b and c were not deleted whereas d was deleted because it has given us a reference error so if you want to so any variable any variable which is which is defined using var let and const cannot be deleted why to know this in detail to know this in detail you can go to this video this video is displayed somewhere on the light right hand side uh, you can click on that video and then you can uh, learn in detail that why this happens so thanks guys. Thanks for watching my video. Take care